Hi, my name is Ted with Legacy Brand Leather. This knife and sheath was gifted to my uncle over 50 years ago from a friend in the Scouts, and, well, it's seen some wear and tear. Ultimately, you just need some new stitching. My uncle asked me if I'd be up for the job, and I said I'd be willing to try to repair it. However, I made it clear that I might have to actually just recreate the entire sheath if I can't get these rivets apart. So, let's take a look. Okay, firstly, we're gonna take a look at the sheath itself and see what we can salvage from it. At first, this doesn't look too difficult. It looks like I need to remove the rivets so I can insert more stitching and apply some more rivets. I first try to drill out the rivets because using something like pliers might damage the actual surface of the leather. And that's when I decided to just recreate the pattern itself. I'm just gonna trace around the original sheath and go from there. It didn't look like the original sheath had a welt in it, which I'm going to install in this new sheath. A welt, along with rivets, is installed into a knife sheath to ensure that the knife doesn't actually cut through the stitching. And now I'm just going through the process of trying to install the welts into the sheath itself. I designed the welt to fit the exact shape of the blade by tracing around the knife itself. Then using some adhesive, I glued in the welt. Here I am doing a test fit to ensure the knife fits inside the welt. From there I glued in the top layer of the sheath. Once those pieces were together, I tried the knife to fit into the sheath. Here I'm just going to bevel and burnish all the exposed edges on the top of the sheath. Then using a wing divider, I'm going to mark the stitching line. Before I wanted to stitch this up, I wanted to insert the holes for the rivets. Then it was a matter of punching the holes. And from there, it was just a matter of stitching it up. After the stitching was done, I went through the process of sanding, beveling, and burnishing the entire sheath. Once that was done, I inserted the rivet hardware. Looks like a good fit. Now I can install the holes for the belt loop. And from here, it's a matter of putting the holes so I can install the button snap attachment. All these pieces get the same treatment, bevel and burnish. And that's it.
Thank you so much for watching this video. My hope in starting this project was that I would either be able to repair the existing sheath or recreate a new one so that it could last another 50 years. The word legacy for me is about passing the torch. That means sharing a craft, passion, or heirloom with the next generation. With projects like this, we can bring new life to items that we care about. If you want to support my channel, head to my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash legacybrandleather. Be sure to give me a follow on Instagram. I post product photos, process photos, and general rugged vibes. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up below and please subscribe. That shows me that you want to see more videos and more content like this. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe out there.